So it's been a busy few days, uh, last few days here, trying to get everything rolled up into Dragon OS LTS, things that I've wanted to include, I've talked about, as well as uh, some recommendations from the people in the uh, from the channel. Uh, big thing being the SDR Play support. I'm really excited about that. I have a RSP1 Alpha uh, on the way here. It's uh, taken a little while to get here. But in the meanwhile, I've included the 3.07 API as well as the SOAPY SDR Play modules and the RS uh, TCP server for SDR Play, which is very similar to the RTL TCP. We're familiar with that one. Uh, this is looks to be similar. I, I've not actually been able to try it yet, uh, but you can see that that is in there. And if you notice right here, I kind of had to work something out because uh, I've installed the SDR Play API, the 3.07, as well as the SOAPY SDR Play uh, module. And so you'll notice that when you boot up the system, uh, you know, this is live. It, this also occurs when you install it. It was just the easiest place for me I could think of uh, to put a little notice in there about the API uh, being installed and where the license is actually located. And that is pretty much where I've stuck everything else. Um, you can see the SDR Play uh, license is sitting there. You need to take a look at that. As you're essentially accepting that uh, most of it, most of everything else uh, is in the user source directory uh, I leave I try to leave everything there uh, so people can uh, modify remove add whatever they need to do uh, big ones that stand out um, spike uh, I'm hoping to get uh, like I said hands-on uh, a BB 60c I think it is from the signal signal hound website. Uh, I've got RF cat and RF crack uh, built in now. I have noticed though, um, it's kind of a weird thing, I don't know, maybe I'll figure it out, but same deal with Q-Spectrum Analyzer. After you install, uh, you need to go down into the uh, the folder for Q-Spectrum Analyzer, uh, excuse, uh, excuse me, <laughs> Spectrum Analyzer and install like I've shown in previous videos. Um, what I've noticed with RF Cat is uh, after installing, uh, this is of course a, a live uh, distro that I'm, I'm running now and I've already ran, ran this command because I quickly figured out it wasn't working but essentially I run that after install and uh, I don't. I don't actually have a, a yardstick one, but I'm pretty certain that everything will work there. Uh, NOAA APT. Uh, some people said they wanted. Uh, let's see, where is that at? Under sound and video, you can find it there for weather. Um, some people asked for shortcuts to things. I tried to put a few but there really is so much installed in here I, I need to do some better documentation uh, let's see WX to image 2.11.2 is in there Kerbo software and the drivers are sitting in the user source directory you can see here RTL SDR Kerberos and then the Kerberos over here but you're gonna have to uh, uninstall the RTL SDR driver as well as uh, one other thing I'd have to look back at my videos before you uh, replaced it with the RTL SDR Kerberos drivers uh, to essentially get the software running so uh, let's see something else I'm really curious about is this auto 137 I've got it uh, installed in here And it looks uh, like it's meant for, well, not looks like it's meant for uh, pulling down information from your uh, different weather satellites. Uh, you need to, you can run sudo and it'll make a data folder, or you can change the configuration file um, and put that data somewhere else. But 
my understanding, if you go look at the website um, and you had the right antenna setting up, it'll automatically uh, tune in and uh, you know record the signal and then automatically convert that over to weather images using uh, NOAA APT. So you got that in there. Uh, QT DAB, I'm waiting to till tomorrow. It sounds like and some of this stuff is not going to, I mean, I can't test it. It's going to be for probably more in Europe, but some people were interested in it. I'm waiting for the uh, developer to update QT uh, DAB to uh, work with the SDR Play 3.0.7 API. Uh, Sig Digger, uh, I, I would ho I, I'm hoping that uh, that will eventually support SDR Play. Universal Radio Hacker mentions it does. I've not actually uh, tried it yet. Let's see. Uh, someone else asked about, I think it was Iridium. You got, uh, that's built in here. As well as the Iridium toolbox right here. Uh, GR Deck 2. Yeah, that took me a little while to figure out. Someone asked about deck support. Well, interestingly enough, the GR Deck site has updated uh, to GNU Radio 3.8, which in Dragon OS LTS it's still GNU Radio 3.7. So what I found was is two previous two changes previous to, to the most current. Uh, the developer was still running 3.7, uh, but also had switched it over to QT5. So this is for anyone out there trying to do the same thing as, as me. If you're on 3.7, of course you can't pull down his latest stuff. Even if you pull down uh, a slightly older uh, build for QT5, it still doesn't work. Uh, I essentially, let me take a look, figured out that if you, if you look at the, sorry, If you pull down the source, two builds previous to the current, so you're on Junior 3.7 and you're, uh, you have the changes needed for QT5, and you pull it down before you run any uh, configure, make, cmake, whatever, uh, you take a look at this deck2.console, come down here, this uh, percentage Sign will not be here. I put that in, and then the console comes up uh, in the flow graph like you would expect. If not, you're going to get errors, and it's not going to work. So that took me a little while to figure out what the heck was going on there. Uh, spent a lot of time with that. So uh, let's see. I, I realized um, I had the SOAPY modules in for... Uh, version 6, uh, which uh, seems to be needed by default. I'm sure maybe there's some way you can change it for the cubic SDR that was built in there. Uh, what I've done is added in the uh, SOAPY modules, uh, the version 7. I, I know there's probably some newer ones, but uh, and the reason being is this cubic SDR, I'm trying to get this work uh, to work for SDR play support, which this is 2.6.alpha, built from source here, the widgets, all that stuff. I had to mess around with all of that. So everything looks like it works. Um, I'm, I'm fingers crossed this will support S, uh, SDR play, I hope. I'm waiting for a word on that or receiving the radio myself and checking it out. So that uh, looks to be using the SOAPY module, uh, this version 7, whereas the older uh, from the package manager 2.3 is using the uh, 6 modules. But whatever. They're both in there until I really make sure that uh, I don't want to break anything. So. I've got in there now if you want to try the newer one or if you have the, let's see, if you have the SDR Play that's in there, 
And let's see what else. Yeah, I think I think that hits all the main main points. Someone had asked for Yates, uh, Yates and Yates BTS. Problem I'm finding with that is uh, Yates is still uh, using QT4. However, I did find a site where the guy had modified to QT5, but I've not got that to build yet. Um, so hopefully I can uh, get that in there. That would be awesome to have as well. All right, I think that touches on what all you can expect in the next uh, the next version. That's a lot of uh, software that's that's in here. Of course, it's up to I think 3.2. Uh, well, it's a little less than three and a half gigs uh, ISO, and the reason being is because obviously I'm leaving a lot of this uh, source in here for anyone that wants to see what I've put in here. It's all it's all there. So if you think of anything between the time you see this video and you know maybe a day or two from now that you would like to see or or something that I can make better, uh, let me know because I want to. Oh yeah, one other thing: the uh, Sparrow Wi-Fi. I've updated that now because the uh, the developer added in the ability for the remote agent to uh, upload information to the Amazon Elastic Search. So. Uh, I thought that that would uh, that would be really helpful for anyone that's running that. All right, I think I think that's it. All right, look forward to getting this out and then getting back to actually making some videos on how to use the equipment. It's just very very time consuming uh, building all this in here. I can't. I, I've lost track of how many times I've rebuilt the ISO because I'll come back and find. Something's just not quite quite right. Uh, matter of fact, I have to build this all again uh, once the QT dab hopefully comes out tomorrow. But other than that, I, I think I've caught everything. I've made notes, uh, except for that one little annoying thing with uh, for yardstick support and the RF cat. Uh, yeah. So, all right. Thank you.